This video will discuss the equilibrium constant of reactions of real gases. So we've been using this prototypical reaction here to derive a lot of our equilibrium results throughout this chapter. We have reactants A and B going to products C and D. All of them are gases, and then they have their stoichiometric coefficients, nu A, nu B, nu C, and nu D. And thus far, we've been assuming that they are ideal gases, and we use the fact that the chemical potential for an ideal gas at a given pressure is equal to its standard chemical potential, which is the chemical potential at a pressure of one bar, plus the RT times the natural log of its pressure divided by the standard pressure. But that was for ideal gases, so now we're going to look at the same result for real gases. So for real gases, um, they do not obey the ideal gas law. They obey more complicated equations of state, perhaps the van der Waals equation of state, perhaps the virial equation of state. But whatever it is, uh, what we can use as an analog of pressure to get our chemical potential as a function of pressure is to use the fugacity of the gas instead. So instead of natural log of the pressure of that species divided by the standard pressure of one bar, we use the fugacity of that gas, which includes, uh, c includes compensation for non-ideal behavior, divided by the standard fugacity, which is also one bar. So as we saw before, before the Gibbs energy change of reaction is equal to the sum of the products of their stoichiometric coefficient times their chemical potential, minus the same sum on the reactants, stoichiometric coefficient times chemical potential. For the standard Gibbs energy of reaction, that was the same thing using their standard chemical potentials. And, the, and then the equilibrium constant or the reaction quotient used uh, what was left over, which is this temperature or now fugacity dependence of the fugacity of each of our uh, species. So if everything is just at a fugacity of one bar, then the Gibbs energy of reaction is the standard Gibbs energy of reaction. But in the, uh, in the event that things are not at one bar, what we use is this expression. Our Gibbs energy of reaction equals the standard Gibbs energy of reaction plus RT times the natural log of what is an exactly equivalent expression to our equilibrium constant in terms of pressure, but now we have replaced everything with fugacities. So we have fugacity of the products divided by standard of fugacity, all raised to the power of their stoichiometric coefficient, all of the products in the numerator and divided by the same thing with all of the reactants in the denominator. So just as we had for ideal gases, the Gibbs energy of reaction equals zero at equilibrium. So the standard Gibbs energy of reaction equals minus RT times the natural log of the reaction quotient at equilibrium, which is called the equilibrium constant. So before, for ideal gases, we called it Kp, because it was the equilibrium constant in terms of pressures. So for real gases, what we have is called Kf, which is the equilibrium constant in terms of fugacities, which is our reaction quotient that we have here, evaluated with equilibrium values of all of these fugacities. So this would also be called, in some circles, a thermodynamic equilibrium constant, where we use fugacities which is good for not only ideal gases, but also real gases. So the extra benefit in this case would be that the thermodynamic equilibrium constant is exact for all gases, ideal and non-ideal, at all conditions of temperature and pressure where non-ideal behavior can result.